glory, glory, glory. Welcome to Growing Together Ministries. Hello, everyone. I'm Pastor Overseer David Ray of this worldwide ministry for the Father. We're located at 601 Main Street in Lewiston, Woodville, North Carolina. And we're also located around the world in Portmore, Jamaica, with Minister A.C. Weir in Monbasi, Kenya, with Pastor Andrew McCarr, and also in a back Nigeria with Apostle Raphael Williams. Thank you for all of you that are watching in India, in Pakistan, and back here in the United States of America. You are watching Kingdom Purpose Television. Go with me in your Bibles to Psalms chapter 40. Psalms chapter 40, as we continue our study of verses that will change your daily life, that will change your life in general. But before we read from Psalms, chapter 40, verse one on this kingdom purpose television afternoon, let's go to the Father in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your many blessings. Father, may we speak this word with boldness on patiently waiting, patiently waiting. Father, give me the words to say in the next few minutes on Kingdom Purpose Television that would help people here in the United States of America and all around the world. I praise your holy name, Father, on this great kingdom purpose television afternoon. Forgive us all of all our sins. Wash us in the blood of Calvary's cross right now. We praise your holy name, Father, in the name of Jesus, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I pray. Amen. I want to speak to you on patiently waiting. Psalms chapter 40, verse one, I waited patiently for the Lord. I waited patiently for who? The Lord. So we must recognize who we are waiting for, and that is our Father. We must wait patiently on the Lord, and patience and waiting patiently is in short supply in many people's lives, waiting patiently. But we all must adopt and adapt to asking the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for more patience in our daily lives. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Psalms chapter 40, verse 1. He heard my cry, but we must slow down and wait for the Father's reply in our lives. The word patiently directs our attention to the thought that God at times does not answer us immediately. And I can testify to you on this kingdom purpose television afternoon 
that I have had to wait sometimes months for a reply to a prayer request that I put before the Father. But in that month or months that I waited and continued to pray daily concerning the matter, God opened my eyes to many things. God instilled in me a slow down mentality. Glory to God. We need a slow down mentality within our mind that we must slow down in order to hear the voice of God. So every time we pray, it's not going to be 100% reply back to us just as soon as we pray. So the indication I waited patiently for the Lord in Psalms chapter 40, verse one is that God is not going to answer us immediately every time. The theme here is threefold. As the I Redeemer, he atones for our sins. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit through his son dying on Calvary's cross, atones for our sins. He is our redeemer this afternoon. Number two, he is our higher priest. He's teaching us to believe in promises which never fail. The word of God has many promises. And if we will wait patiently, the Father will come through for you and come through for me. But we, these, and furnishes us with perfect forms of confession, prayer, and praise that we must confess our sins. We must pray to God and wait patiently. And while we wait patiently, we must praise the Lord. Let me say that again. We must confess all our sins before our Father. We must continue to pray even though our requests are not immediately answered, and we must praise the Father every day, even though we've not succeeded and received what we ask for. So it's he's our redeemer, he's our high priest, and thirdly, he's our commander. He engages to deliver us from the powers of darkness. I pray on this kingdom purpose, television afternoon, that you are being delivered from the powers of darkness, that you are be being delivered in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit on this great kingdom purpose television afternoon. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. God will come through for you on his timing, not your timing. Psalms chapter 40 verse 1 can change your daily life. I love you today, and God loves you. We are a worldwide ministry through Facebook, Growing Together Ministry on Facebook, YouTube, and so many other platforms that we broadcast on since December of 2016. We love Kingdom Purpose Television. I'm Pastor Overseer David Ray. Have a great afternoon.